All right, so this chapter talks about this uh, sampling uh, design and procedures. And uh, this chapter is the, uh, let's see, the, after reading this chapter, students should be able to differentiate a sample from a census and identify conditions with which uh, favor the use of a sample versus a census. Uh, so we will look at these two, sample and census. Uh, we will discuss the sample design process, defining the target population. So what is your population? So for your survey, uh, is your population all females, maybe, or maybe your population, all the people who use mobile phones, or maybe your population, all the people who use the internet for shopping. And then uh, we will look into uh, selection of the sample technique. So you, you can't ask all the people, right? So you need to take a sample. So how do you choose a sample? That's the main question on this chapter. What do you guys think? How do you choose a sample? Is there any way to choose a sample? Just in you want to do it random, you know, the idea of random, okay. So anyone uh, have a, a chance of being selected and you want this, uh, what they call simple random sample, is that like everyone that you select uh, or like everyone in the population maybe had a chance to be selected one way or the other. Uh, determining uh, how many you do, how much is the sample size? Is 10 enough, is 20, is 30, is 200, 300? So that's another question. So is there any scientific method to measure the sample? Yes. So that's what we learn from statistics. In statistics, they tell us, remember in statistics, you measure how much randomness. So you want to see how much randomness error are there. And then in order to reduce this error, uh, then you need to increase the number of people in the sample. So what is a good number of people to ask so that the error is like the minimum? Or the answer or the, 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 the people that you asked you know, they have the truth of the answer of the whole population with a small error. Or how much confident, they call it the confidence interval. Remember the confidence interval? How much confident are you that the real population, uh, you know, result or answer is uh, based on this uh, sample? So we want to determine sample size and the execution of the sampling process and how you do the sampling process. And we want to classify sampling techniques as non-probability non -probability and probability. Do you understand what we mean by probability and non-probability sampling? Uh, probability sampling is that everyone has uh, probable probability of being selected as part of the sample. Non-probability, it means there are some people in the population, you know, it was impossible for them to participate in the survey. So these people, their voice is not represented. Remember when they go in the election, and then they say, in the election, based on the survey, uh, we believe that the winner will be, and uh, they will tell you that their confidence is 95% confidence that this person will get, you know, 51% uh, of the votes. So how do they do that? They do this following these uh, sampling techniques and... You want to describe the non-probability sampling techniques, such as convenient sampling. Do you know what's a convenient sampling? Convenience sampling is that you go and you choose the people on at your convenience. So maybe if you want to do your survey and you go and you talk to your friends. So that's convenience, very easy for you. But is your friends representative of all of the population that you want to study? So if you're studying like t people telecommunication, uh, you need to ask like all the people who use mobile phones. If you will use the whole population, then it will be like five million users in this country, right? But you can't ask all of these, then you want to get the sample. So if you're going to get the sample, and the sample is, let's say, you know, 400 people, uh, and you choose only your family, then that's not good representation. So that's what we call convenience. Judgmental is that you make a judgment. This guy, yes, this guy, no. Okay, so you have a judgment. Quota is you're going to have to have some sort of uh, a quota, let's say, uh, you decided that you want uh, telecommunication users, and then you know that half of them males, half of them females. Then you decide that you're go in your sample, you're going to have 50% males and 50% females. Maybe you want to get the population, you know, uh, maybe uh, you would go to the uh, operators and you see how many people of these are uh, actually, uh, let's say, uh, their education level. And then uh, they have got like three segments, okay? Highly educated, middle, low. Then you want your sample to also reflect that middle, high, low. Uh, and then we will look at probability sampling, and we've got the sample, uh, the simple random, and that's when you get a random. So you get a list of all the five million people, 
and then you randomly select you know, uh, your 400 sample and that will be your sample. Uh, systematic is when you go on a system. So maybe every 10th customer or every, uh, you know, uh, you take, let's say, the, you know, a random uh, table and then by system uh, of random numbers, you go select the next, you know, 25th customer, 25th customer until you reach the end. Uh, stratified here when you do it uh, based on, uh, let's say, uh, you've got here in Yemen uh, five uh, governorates and then each governorate they have this number of customers then you're going to do like a pro rata okay so uh, you know uh, Sana'a has 3 million so I'll take 30 Ta'az has 20 million I'll take 20 uh, Adan has uh, 2 million I'll take 2 you see so you will going to take something that represent uh, some sort of maybe geographical uh, distribution cluster sampling is uh, you say that you know you take all of the customers and you say okay we've got some customers who are companies based and uh, these companies they have uh, you know a lot of numbers uh, and then uh, you decided to uh, you know from all of the 1000 companies that uses the telecommunication service you're going to select randomly four companies and then you will only study those four companies and you assume these four companies will represent all of the 10,000 uh, companies. Or maybe you select, you know, maybe you have 2,000 neighborhoods. You go and you select randomly three neighborhoods or four neighborhoods, and you just look at these neighborhoods. So that's just a cluster. And then we identify the conditions uh, which favor the use of non-probability sampling versus probability. Which one do you think is better? Probability or non-probability? Generally, you want probability. Probability, it means like everyone is represented in the sample. Uh, not probability, not everyone, but there are some conditions where non-probability maybe will be better. We want to understand sampling design process, the use of sampling techniques in international. We want to look at social media examples and ethical issues. And then the use of internet and computer sampling. So here the internet is becoming very popular for data collection. So many people prefer to do online sampling and uh, online surveys. So here comes the uh, power of the internet. Are you guys okay with this? Now this is like a quick review of what we have been doing in this course. Uh, step one, step two, step three, we looked at this and this and this and that. And uh, we went quickly on the questionnaire. And uh, now we're looking at the sampling. Uh, before we move, uh, next chapter we'll go into step four. Now here is the sampling uh, process sampling size and let's look at the definitions what do we mean by population now a population it's the uh, it's the aggregate of all the elements that share some common set of characteristics and that compromise the universe for the purpose of the marketing research problem so population is the people that you are going to study for example if we talk about pampers you're talking about all the moms Right, if you want to do, uh, or maybe all of the centers that need to buy pampers for their maybe uh, clients. If we're talking about the zabadi, then maybe every household in Yemen. So here we're talking about like households, because the household, you know, responsible will buy the zabadi or yogurt. And then if we talk about the e-commerce, uh, we're talking about like all the people who use the internet, if they shop online or not. If we're talking about telecommunication, the people who have a mobile phones. Now census. Census involves a complete uh, enumeration, like a list of the elements of a population. So what is the elements of this population? Yeah, census, it means, uh, this is what it means. A complete uh, enumeration of the elements of a population. Uh, list, number of... Yeah. So you go the census, uh, like uh, yeah. So they go and they uh, they have list a list of all of the you know the you know the government will take a team and their team job is to go and measure the entire population and then on the entire population they will have a list of criteria of what to do and what not to do, or what they do or what they don't do. So these are like their characteristics. And then the sample is a sample of the, on the other hand, is a subgroup 
of the population selected for 